Why, hello there. So today we are going to talk about how to use Adobe Sign to send a form to a student. So to start out, we're going to go to our single sign-on page. So it's sso.imperial.edu. If you just type that in, then we'll get to the page that we're seeing here. Once you, of course, log in and use your password. And then there will be a list of applications you can access in alphabetical order. And so the first one happens to be Adobe Sign. Go ahead and click on that one and it will drop you into Adobe. From here, you're going to click on the request signatures button, which says here to go to Adobe Sign. And it takes us into Adobe Sign. We see over here on the left, powered by Adobe Sign with Imperial Valley College's logo. Now for the form in question, we are just going to use an existing template. So let's go to send over here on the left. And then here, first of all, based on the way this form is set up, it is first completed by the counselor, signed by the counselor, and then sent to the student. So the first step would be the counselor. So I'm gonna put in my email address as the counselor at this point, here it is. And then for the recipient, that would be the student. So I'm just gonna put uh, another one of my email addresses so we can test out the functionality and we'll just pretend that this is the student in question. Now, this is the message going to the student. So if you leave it as is, it will just say the name of the form and to please complete. If you wanna customize it, feel free to click in here and customize the message. You can put their name or so on. Um, and then when you're ready, click on add files in order to attach the appropriate form. It is an existing template. So we'll click here on the templates and we'll select the repeat petition, counselor review and recommendation form. That is currently the only template we have built for counseling so far, more to come. Click attach. Once it's attached, go ahead and click on send and it will take us to submitting, processing document, now, since this particular form does have fields that are first completed by the sender, which is the counselor typically, it pops up the counselor review fields. So this would be the student. So I'm gonna just put my information, I'll be both. I'm just gonna put a fake ID number here. And then I'll just put the sample course. And this is, let's say for spring 20, you would just fill this out. If there is a prerequisite, you can list that here. Recommended prep, requirement meant by, and you could just put a course uh, or your assessment. Just fill it out like you normally would by hand. And then here for printed name, that would be the counselor's printed name, and click here to sign. I do have my signature loaded, so it automatically loaded my signature for you. If you have it attached, it will load it. Otherwise, you can type it in and it gives it a nice signature look. You'll see what I mean when we get to the student part here. And then the date, let's just put 5-11-2020. And then we've done our part as far as the sender is concerned. We filled out the top part. Now we need to send it to the next step. So now I'm going to click to sign. And it will tell me that I've successfully signed it and that a copy has been sent to. So notice how it recognized that the sender was myself. So it first gave it to me to do my part and then it went to step two. It was that fast, it's great. So now we're going to go and check my email. Here we do see that I have this email that says signature requested on and then the name of the form. And then it says Melody Conister, so it would be the counselor name. Request your signature on and it gives the name of the form and then it gives this button here to review and sign. And there we go. So we see the repeat form here. We see where it's already been populated, where we filled out the top part and then signed and dated it. And now it's to the student part. So see, they can't do any editing up here. All they have is the option that we gave them, which is to sign. So they can click here to sign and they have four different options. They can sign by typing and it gives like a cursive looking font. They can draw it using their mouse. That always looks interesting, right? They can attach an image, so if they already have their signature saved, they could attach that here. Or this is kind of a cool feature, which is create your signature on a mobile device. So if you do this, then the student can type in their mobile number and hit to send, and it texts them a link 
to sign. And then they sign it with their finger. So watch, I'm gonna do that here. I just opened up my text message, clicking on it to sign it. It pops immediately open on my phone and gives me a white box for me to sign with my finger. And then I click done. It tells me to return to my computer to continue. And then we'll see that it popped up right here. And then enter my name and then apply. So students have a lot of different options in order to sign it, which is great. And then the date signed, May 11, 2020. Even if the student forgets to populate this, it is also dated underneath the signature. And then click to sign. Now, what's nice here is it will tell the student that they're all set, they finished signing it, and that the final agreement will be emailed to all parties, and that they could also download a copy of what they just signed. So that's nice too. So if they click to download a copy, then it will give them the copy here, shows the top part and the bottom part, and they can download that and save it to their computer and, and or even print it. As for you, if you check your IVC email, you will notice that you will now have an email from Adobe Sign. I'm gonna download the picture so we can see the full email. And it will say that the form has been signed and filed. So you can view the document in your Adobe Sign account by clicking this button here. Or you'll also notice the PDF itself is attached. So you can open that and there it is. What's nice about the version sent to you also is that towards the bottom here, there's a second page that tells you the history of this document. It's an audit report. So it shows when the form was created, when the form was signed, when it was emailed, when it was viewed, when it was signed by the second party, and when it was emailed. So there's a clear audit trail and it even gives the IP addresses in case there was concern about security about who signed it. So a lot of great detail here. And so you can save this file here to uh, drop it in extender or open text if you're wanting to index it or save it to your own computer, which is great. So let's say that you thought you downloaded it, but you went to look for it and you couldn't find it. Just remember that Adobe Sign also keeps track of your documents for you as well. So if you get back into Adobe Sign, I have to log back in since I imitated that student. Go to Adobe Sign. Then you can click over here in Manage and it will show you your status over here. It will tell you how many forms are out for signature, how many forms are waiting for you to sign, what's completed. And if you click on that, then you'll see the form completed and you have the option to download it here too. So there's a nice audit trail here as well. Adobe Sign is great. There's a lot of potential here. We're just getting started. So for now, I hope having access to that particular template and process is useful for you. Until next time, you all have a great day.